Welcome back friends. Today we will make a free energy generator using a horseshoe magnet and a insulated copper wire, thick insulated copper wire. For this we will take a DC motor and fix this horseshoe magnet in front of the DC motor using a, using a turbine and fix it. So this type of shaft uh, turbine we will take and fix it in the shaft of the DC motor tightly so when, once it has been fixed see that motor is been fixed tightly now we will fix this motor over the wooden board tightly with the help of a screw we will fix this motor on the wooden board tightly Once the motor has been fixed tightly, fix a two sided tape in front of the shaft. Once it has been fixed, <coughs> we will fix a, a, a horseshoe magnet in front of this tape. Before that, we will take a wooden board like this, fix a two sided tape and fix it in front of uh, the motor so as to take the coil insulated copper wire make a maximum number of turns of the coil like this and fix it over it before that we will take a two sided tape and fix it over the wooden board once it has been fixed fix the coil in front of the motor and tighten it with the screw that so that it will not move here and there So once the coil has been fixed, now we will connect the coil Connect the coil with the wire and the terminals So we have soldered both the terminals. <coughs> now our dash dad like this, like this in a forward direction. Second end is fixed with the remove the insulation of the wire so that proper soldering is been done without a dry soldering. So once it is being removed. the terminals are being sold
once both the terminals are been soldered now we'll take an extension board and fix this extension board for that we will take a two sided tape and fix it take a two sided tape we'll take a two sided tape and fix the extension or this once it has been done <coughs> connect the terminals of the extension board with the connecting point terminals So once it is connected properly, now <coughs> we will fix a magnet to the shaft of the motor and see that it is able to move freely inside the coil. Once it is been done and see that the coil uh, the magnet is the horseshoe magnet is uh, uh, able to move freely in the coil once it has been done we will fix the uh, terminals of the coil inside the uh, terminals and give a torque to the shaft of the motor uh, by uh, the catching the magnet so once we will give a target and see that whether EMF is generated or not. Slowly give the target to the magnet. So once the torque has been given, the magnet slowly moves inside the coil and generating EMF in the coil. With the help of multimeter, we can with the help of multimeter we can check whether how much quantity of EMF is generated. We will adjust this and <coughs> adjust it to the DC range here, DC voltages to 20 volt and check whether EMF is how much voltage is being generated in the coil so we have kept uh, the voltage range to the DC and kept it uh, to the 20 volt range and check uh, how much voltage is being uh, generated so we will check whether how much voltage is being uh, generated Here we will get uh, 3.9 nearly 4 how much AMF volts has been generated. So here we will get a maximum output uh, showing that EMF is generated in the coil. So here you can see that uh, the horseshoe magnet is um, moving inside the coil and maximum EMF is uh, generated in the coil so this horseshoe magnet moves inside the coil generating a maximum emf so the bulb indicates that emf generation in the coil
This works over the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever the flux linking the coil changes EMF is generated in the coil thus producing EMF the bulb indicates the glowing of bulb indicates the EMF is generated in the coil. Friends please subscribe and press the bell icon so that I can bring such videos for you.